You just seem very misogynistic, yeah, realistically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is misogyny? <laughs> Why are you using words that you don't even know the definition no, of? No, no, that's not what I meant. I think you are misogynistic, so. What does misogynistic mean, though? Um, like, just so I know what you're calling me. Okay, so the reason I said it is just, again, based on the... the what the... the I'm no ma'am. No ma'am. <laughs> why so quick? No, why so quick? Because she toxic. Look, she's trying to argue with me right now. She, the way she walked up on me, I could tell. Look at her. Damn, I'm trying to have a conversation. Now you just, okay. You said I'm toxic. Y'all, it was at this very moment when I realized I need more friends in my life. Because why the heck I'm going through my call log and all I see is my man, my man, my man, my husband, my husband, my husband. Because, baby, what's going on? Y'all be like, oh, what you do when your husband and your man not around? Baby, stalk them. Baby, blow their phone up because what y'all doing? Who you with? That sounds like two different people. I don't think that's the same person. My man, and my husband. <laughs> and she talks to the husband more than she talks to the man. So, is that the side guy or what? Is she cheating on the husband? Do you miss me? Did you think about me today? Did you eat today's steak? Oh, look, y'all. My dad at least called me Sunday and I ain't answer. Oh, well, I forgot. Hey, dad, if you see this, I wouldn't ignore Y'all probably was on the phone with my man or my husband, Chad. No, but for real. I liked exactly what you said, but I feel like women should not be promiscuous at all. I agree with you, by the way, um, because like he said, they cannot commit after having multiple partners. And on top of that, imagine sitting there. You want to be a wife. You want to be loyal. How, how can you do that if you're practicing, you know, sucking fun dip every week? You're not practicing <laughs> cooking. You're not practicing <laughs> mental health. You're not practicing how to talk to him, how to cater, how to be submissive, and how to talk to him in a nurturing way you're practicing sucking pee pee that's not the same thing but that's what if that's not what you want what if you don't want to be uh, i'm only speaking on women who like want to be wives those type of girls i'm not talking to y'all not you but like in general being honest can it's i only for my traditional queen sorry spirits don't move <laughs> I just want to say this. Ladies, if you're looking for a husband, boyfriend, anything, this is the outfit. Just go to the store, mind your business in this outfit. It might have been a choice, I don't know. No bra, look crazy, bun. Baby, I ain't never been asked, am I married so much in my life? I swear to God, I don't know what it is. Might be that ass, might be this sniffle ring. I don't know. But if you want a man, this is how you get him. Four months asked me was I married. And one of them asked me, did I have a boyfriend? You want to know why they asked me that? Because they had a coochie. It was a girl asking me, did I have a boyfriend? The girl pulled her car over. I'm walking to my skirt. Back that up. Hey, you got a man? I was like, hold on. No, I don't got a man. I'm, I'm pulling back. I love being like, men are pigs, misogyny is disgusting, what the f***? <laughs> What's wrong with y'all? And then when I like, accidentally like, crash into something while I'm driving and like, I'm like the worst driver ever, I'm like, guys I'm just a girl, I don't know how to drive. I'm so sorry guys, I'm just a girl, I'm just trying to figure it out, y'all, I don't, we don't know how to drive, remember? So I make a video responding to a man who's asking women, why don't you make changes to yourselves that men would like to see that would better attract us? My response was simple. We're not dressing for you. Worry about connecting your beard and leave us alone. My comment section talking about this is single woman behavior. You females this, you females that. No man will want you. And I just want to know why you guys look the way you do talking to someone like that who looks like me talking about you're going to regret this when you're 30 and you don't have as many options. I'm 30 next year. What options do I have now that I won't have next year? I look good. I could be reserved, conservative, minimal makeup girly, and I still wouldn't look at you. There are countless women who act and dress the way that you like. So why aren't you with them? Why aren't you married? Where's your wife? And if you did find an unfortunate soul who was willing to settle for you, do she know she would
You're out here demanding a certain demographic of women to admit to something that you desperately need to be true because you can't cope with the fact that women don't do everything for you. It hurts your ego. It hurts your pride that we don't dress up for you. Find some purpose in your life because this cannot be what gives your life meaning. Out here on some one day, you're going to regret this and come crawling back to us. <laughs> you know who you remind me of? You'll see. You'll all see. In the words of Dwight Schrute, you pathetic, short little man. You don't have any friends, any family, or any land. As a single parent, one of the most common things I hear when I'm talking about dating is, oh, dating with kids must be so difficult. Here's the thing. Um, the most difficult thing that I've ever experienced when it comes to dating is never caused by my kids. It's caused by men. To hear this and i have to say and i don't care if i get called to pick me for this how could you guys possibly care so much about how many girls a man follows on instagram or like all these little things that they do that like bother girls so much how could you ever give them so much credit and put them on such a pedestal while lowering yourself and degrading yourself so much over such small things like they are such simple creatures to understand and they do everything based off their instincts if they like you they like you and they're 100 percent into you they're going to be 100 percent for you and you're going to know it and they're not going to leave you alone if they're any less than that, they like you, but not enough. Oh, but he tells me this and this. Yeah, he does these things, but it's like, he also does this. He doesn't like you as much as you like him. And it's just very simple. It's upsetting, but it's simple. And you have to withdraw and not... When you post a picture of yourself on Instagram after he likes another girl's picture, that's not going to do anything for you. It's absolutely not. You're just putting all your attention and focus into something that doesn't want you back as much as you want it you guys have to relax maybe i've never experienced liking someone so much to have like the crazy girl fever but like i just can't imagine being a crazy girl and giving them so much power over me like what the f <laughs> why do they deserve that they don't if they don't give you absolutely everything that you want then okay bye he's cute but there's cuter and there's other cute guys out there like please cringe but like know your worth come on you're so cute don't do that. Who is they? Right now. Who is they? Why does it matter who David is? They? Why does it matter? <laughs> does it matter who David is? I don't know who David is. Get off, bro. Get off. Get off. Why would I get off? Get off the jet Get off. Get off, bro. Get off, bro. Get off, bro. Yep. Damn, bro. Oh. <laughs> what a wrong place to have such conversations. Oh man, those are serious conversations to be having on the water. I'm just saying here, bro. If you're gonna have children, do it young. Do it in your twenties. Do it when you're eighteen. Because I can tell you now that the worst thing about having children in your mid to late thirties is when you spend twenty minutes trying to get your baby to sleep, and then they're asleep in their cot, and as you go to leave the room. The clicking of your joints wakes them up. My baby just woke up because my knee clicked. <laughs> I click. Do it when you're young, guys. Shoot them out. When you're in your 30s, you can get your life back as your joints fail you. Oh.